What's up guys? So I'm so excited for today's video because not only is it a back to school haul which has been so requested but I also have a little surprise for you guys at the end. I feel like I said surprise weird. Surprise for you guys at the end of this video so just stay tuned for that and let's just get into it right away because I feel like my shows are always a million, a million minutes long. So back to school is really not the best time ever because it's like who wants to go back to school? I mean the first day is always really exciting because you get to see people that you may have not seen all summer and all that kind of stuff but then it's like you're back in school and you're depressed and you're just like, ugh, what is my life? I can't watch Netflix all day. Oh my God, what am I gonna do with myself? So naturally, going shopping, back to school supply shopping, back to school clothing shopping, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty fun. It kind of tones down the school a little bit because you get more excited and then once it starts, you're like, oh my God, my life. So I went shopping and obviously that's, like what I do, I like don't know how to control myself. I went shopping um, and I figured that I would show you guys some of my favorite things to wear when I'm at school just because um, I don't really like to necessarily dress up completely, but I mean, if you've watched my back to school outfit kind of lookbook, then I'm sure you kind of get my style a little bit. Um, some days I definitely admit that I wear like my pajamas to school, um, like sweatpants and a sweatshirt, but I mean, like I don't have a uniform. If you guys have uniforms, then this stuff could be like perfect for like on your weekends, going out with your friends, hanging out, doing whatever you do on weekends. So hopefully this can help some of you guys in whatever you're doing. Starting off with Brandy Melville because you guys all love Brandy Melville so much. Um, by the way, if the lighting is weird, I'm sorry, the sun is just like going in and out and this thing that I can't show very well on camera is a light pink striped long t-shirt dress. And I love Brandy Melville's t-shirt dresses because not only are they super soft like all of their clothing, but they're just so versatile. Like I can wear this anywhere. I can wear this to bed as like a nightgown. I could wear this out to the beach over a bikini, to the pool over a bikini. I can wear this to school over some leggings, which is what I'm about to tell you guys right now. I can wear it out with some heels and dress it up. It's just, it's like the best thing ever. I'm obsessed with them. They're so comfortable, so loose. I mean, it's basically like wearing your pajamas out, but it's okay because they're not pajamas, so you can get away with it. <laughs> what I like to wear at school are things that are like comfort. Comfort is like my number one thing at school. I just need to be comfortable. First things first, this thing, super comfortable. That's my number one thing. I like to wear this with chokers because I'm trendy. I don't know, I like chokers a lot. And I would wear this with like some leggings if it's a bit colder um, where you guys are. I'm 5'8 for anyone asking. So this is kind of short on me. So I do wear like spandex shorts underneath. But if your school has a dress code where you can't wear anything that's like, if you put your arms straight down and your fingers go further than your outfit of what you're wearing, then I would suggest to wear leggings underneath this because um, then it's a little bit inappropriate. But I know at my school, it's totally fine to wear something like this with shorts. And then if it gets cooler, I would throw on a really oversized, like distressed jean jacket. I think it's so cool. Like mess my hair up a little bit, put some like sea salt spray and some texturizing spray, choker, look like I just rolled out of bed and go to school because that's literally what I wear. So this jean jacket with some like really cu cute booties, that's my thing. I feel like you guys all know these tops so well and I've shown them so many times in my videos but these tops from Brandy Melville are literally like the best things ever. Whoa, I just got really white. Basically, these are the Nadine tops so they're like the tops that have the little um, stripe here and the little stripe on the sleeve. They're not necessarily cropped. If you're wearing something really low cut then it would show a little bit of your stomach but if you're wearing something normal or a little bit high waisted then it doesn't show anything. And I really like that about these tops. Plus they're super stretchy and they're super soft. And this one is just like a maroon color. And I figured that since back to school kind of means fall. You know, I love fall fashion. I love fall colors. It's my favorite time of the year. So um, I'm really excited to wear maroons and like greens and stuff. Cause I love that. So I just thought this color would be really nice for back to school. Wow, this really washes me out on the camera. Woo! But uh, yeah, so this top is just really cute. I just really like it. It's super soft. I own like a million of these tops. They're like my favorite things ever. The next kind of thing I like to wear to school that's comfortable, again, is like an oversized t-shirt. Not a t-shirt dress that you like completely covers your butt, but something that's like oversized and baggy, but that is not so over oversized that you drown in it. 
and I love gray colors. This color is awesome. Um, I just, I find myself wearing this color all the time, so I thought this would be perfect for back to school. It's pretty long. It doesn't cover my full butt, but it covers a lot. And um, I mean, for back to school, I normally would wear shorts, like jean shorts, so that doesn't really matter. Sometimes if I'm wearing high-waisted shorts, I'll do a little knot so I, so I can like have it higher, but I just really like the way this fits over here. The neckline is not too small, like the top I just showed you, it's a bit bigger. And the sleeves go down pretty long, which I really like about that. And it's just long and really comfortable. It's a really kind of different material. It's very soft, like almost as if like it's furry and you're touching it and it's soft. That made no sense. As soon as that came out of my mouth, I was like, Alex, what are you saying? Next is a sweater of mine that I bought like Maybe I'd like to say three weeks ago, two weeks ago, and um, well, actually I didn't buy it, my mom bought it. But thank you, mommy, for buying this for me because I really, really like it. She saw it and thought of me, and she purchased it for me, so I'm really happy. Um, but it's basically just this sweater. Oh my gosh, how am I going to show this? Okay, this is from Brandy Melville. I wore this in a video of mine, I think, last week. And it's like chunky and not super thick. It's actually pretty thin. But I just love the color of this. I love the neckline. It's like a scoop neckline, so it goes. I have pretty broad shoulders, so for me, it kind of sits right here. Um, if I wanted to wear it off one shoulder, I could. Um, but for someone that wasn't a swimmer or like a gymnast or something and doesn't have as broad shoulders as me, then I'm sure this sweater would be like very loose and hangy. But I mean, I love that look, so it's fine. Um, the sleeves are full sleeves. They go all the way down, but I like to roll them up kind of like this one and have them like three quarter length sleeves. This sweater is pretty cropped. It's not a crop sweater. Like I wouldn't necessarily consider it very crop, but if you're gonna be wearing something low-waisted, then it might show a little bit, like I said before, with the Nadine top. Um, it looks like this, but I mean, I normally wear things that are more like high-waisted to like mid-waisted, so this never really shows anything. So I know that, especially where I live, um, it gets cold in the fall like really fast, really fast. I mean, I'm so jealous of you guys that live in California or anywhere in the South that, you know, in fall it's not really that cold. For us, it's like we get like maybe two months of summer, a month of fall, a month of spring, and like eight months of winter. It's ridiculous. Like, I'm just so over the weather here. I just... <sighs> Anyways, so it gets cold pretty fast where I live, so I need to be aware of that while I'm shopping for the fall time. So basically, I would wear those sh that sweater with like either jean shorts when it's still kind of warm out, or a skirt, and then in the fall time, I would definitely wear it with like some, ooh, those like high-waisted black jeans from Topshop that have little slits on the knees. Those are awesome. This top I purchased from Free People. I think I've worn this top every second day since I bought it because it's so comfortable. It's just this like, I don't know, it's called night color on the website. I don't even know how to explain it. It looks purplish on camera, but it's like a gray purple. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's super nice. It's almost like brownish too. Um, it's really oversized. It has this like, these buttons that go all the way down. It's it's called the Oversized Boyfriend Henley Top. So um, it's something that like your boyfriend would wear that's like really big on you and cozy. Um, it covers my butt, which I like because I like to wear it with leggings. And I just think this is so perfect for back to school because I could wear this with literally anything. Like I could wear this with jeans, I can wear this with shorts. And obviously I wouldn't have all the buttons undone. I would probably button up all the way. And then I think with some like really cute jewelry pieces and maybe some rings and stuff would be super cute and then the last clothing item I want to show you guys are actually these boyfriend jeans they're just like the baggy boyfriend jean jeans um, I usually have them cuffed at the bottoms to show a bit of ankle they have a distress on the knee and a little bit up here but it's not too much skin um, it's fine for school the color is super nice they're from one teaspoon um, which I really like I love the brand one teaspoon and the reason why I purchased from one teaspoon is because their jeans last forever. I've had some of their shorts. I swear to you guys, I've had them for four years. Four years. And they're still brand new. They're amazing. I love the jean. The quality is great. The reason why I'm saying this is because they are pricier, but you are paying for the quality of the jean because you can even just feel it. It's super soft. Um, they're so like, I've washed these already. And sometimes when you wash jean, they get kind of crunchy. These are just brand new. They're, they're super soft. I love them so much. And um, I mean, I know they do have cheaper versions of this at Forever 21, but every time I purchase from Forever 21, 
I have to repurchase within like a few months because it just gets destroyed. So when I want something that's pretty basic that I know I will be wearing for a long time that I think going for something a bit more expensive is worth it for me just because um, I won't have to repurchase it because in the end, this has happened to me many times, um, I've like bought something similar like four times and it turns out to be the same price as if I just bought something like this in the first place. Would you guys be interested in seeing a back to school um, makeup slash hairstyle video? I know some of you guys want to see like a um, quick and easy hairstyle video so I think I might do that but I don't know if you guys want me to incorporate kind of like a back to school makeup routine because I know at certain schools you can't wear any makeup I know some places you can wear more than others at my school we weren't allowed to wear that much so maybe I could show you guys um, kind of an easy no makeup makeup look so if you're interested in that just let me know down in the comments and now on to the surprise I have for you guys I'm sure you guys are all interested in what this is because I have been wanting to tell you guys for so long I've kind of hinted about it on my Instagram and you guys are all very curious so for the past couple of months I have been told multiple times by you guys that I am all over the app called the hunt and for a long time I was just kind of like what is that like what do you mean I'm all over the app <laughs> like what and then um, a couple weeks ago I actually checked it out and I was like hey this app is really cool like this is pretty awesome basically what the app does is you um, if you're scrolling through tumblr or whatever and you come across an outfit that you like and you don't know where anything is from you can like take a screenshot of it upload it to the app and then people from the community will basically find those exact items for you so you could select whether you want exact or whether you want something similar because some, you know sometimes things are old and they don't have the exact anymore but um i know for like coachella and stuff when like all the celebrities were wearing certain things you're just like oh my gosh where is that from so you can like literally screenshot it and post it and people will tell you where it's from now for me Every time I post a picture on Instagram, I tag where the articles of clothing are from, whether it be in the description or in the photo itself. But um, a lot of the times people just, I guess, don't know that or people repost my pictures without giving credit to the companies or any anything like that. So people take screenshots and I went on the app and I'm literally like all over the homepage. I was like, whoa, okay, well, I guess I am all over the app. So um, I was contacted by the app to host a little challenge for you guys that I thought would be really fun. Um, basically what it is, is I made a profile on the app itself and I'm going to be posting a picture wearing an article of clothing or like an outfit of the day picture like I normally post, except I'm not going to be tagging where anything is from. So what I want you guys to do is to find where those articles of clothing are from. So I'm not going to make it easy like Brandy Melville and all that stuff because you guys know where I like the companies I like to shop at most. So I'm going to make it a bit more challenging for you guys and I want you to go and find where everything is from. Now, one of you guys who finds where the articles of clothing are from will win a $100 gift card to Urban Outfitters. Can we just... Urban Outfitters is my, like, one of my favorite stores ever. I cannot go into that store without buying something. It's really bad. So I'm really jealous, actually, that you guys can win this because I want this so bad. And then I'm also inviting you guys to come and follow me on my profile on The Hunt. If you guys have profiles, it's free to sign up. It's free to download, all that kind of stuff. It's all free. And if you follow me on my account, then one of you guys will win a $50 gift card to Urban Outfitters. So there is the $100 prize for figuring out the outfit and then a $50 prize for following me on the app. So I thought that would be pretty fun. You can even write like something similar. So if people find like a cheaper alternative to something, then they can post that as well, which is pretty awesome. And I just think it's a really cool idea. I don't know how someone didn't think of this sooner. All the information for the like, giveaway challenge thing will be listed down below if you have any questions in the description thing down here it will be listed down below and good luck to everyone hope you guys are having a wonderful day let me know again in the comments if you would like to see a makeup slash hair style tutorial video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more and i will see you guys all in my next video bye